Hello children, how are you today? I hope that you all are well and let us start our lesson as well. For today, we will discuss uses of English innovatively and creatively in written communication and also we will be writing for personal purposes and then at the end of the lesson each and every one of you will be able to reply or write a note refusing an invitation. All right, my dear students, before we start the lesson, let's listen to a telephone conversation. The conversation is between Nimesh and Bimal. Let's see what they speak. Hello, can I speak to Bimal, please? Hi, Nimesh, what's up? Oh, Bimal, hi, I have some good news. Good news? About what? We are going on a trip. Really? Where to? To Trinco. Oh, that's wonderful. Why don't you join us? When are you leaving? Day after tomorrow. Oh, that's 27th. Bad luck. Sorry, I can't. Why? I have an interview for A-level admissions. Why can't you change the date? It's too late now. Even my parents have taken leave to go with me. Try and see to change the date. No, Nimesh, I'm sorry, I can't. What to do? We'll miss you. Sorry, Nimesh. Anyway, Thanks for asking me. All right, my dear students. Now you listen to a part of this telephone conversation. In this conversation, you saw Nimesh invited Bimal. And then Bimal said sorry that he couldn't attend to it. And also he gave reasons for that. And he would say something else too. Let's see that in our next slide. Before that, my dear students, keep in mind, in our previous lesson, we have accepted invitations. And we said yes to invitations. We thanked. But in today's lesson, we will be refusing. And then we will be giving reasons for refusing the invitation. And it will be in a note form. So I hope that you have your notebooks and your pens ready to write down answers, to write down the questions on the board. So now let's see how they wind up their conversation. Okay, Nimesh says, that's okay. Let's try another time. By the way, all the best for the interview. Bye. Thanks and bye. So my dear student, you see it's a friendly conversation and Nimesh wishes Bimal for the interview and Bimal thanks for it and they say goodbye. So now there are some important points that you should keep in mind when you write a note, when you reply to a note and when you refuse an invitation. I hope that some of you may know this. And for those who really find it difficult to think what it might be, let's see one by one. Nimesh invited Bimal and then Bimal refuses and he says, bad luck, sorry, I can't because he had an interview. So that is one way of refusing. I can't. And then let's see what he says further. Sorry Nimesh, anyway, thanks for asking me. You see the next step. He feels sorry that he couldn't go with him. And he says, thanks for inviting. You know, my dear students, Saying thank you is an act of courtesy and it's a polite way of expressing yourself. 
So these are some expressions that you should keep in mind when you write note. Children, also I would like to tell you, notes are not letters. The notes are very short and they include all the information which is very important. And with all these, my students, let's move on to another activity. Okay, read the instructions. Let's complete the sentences using suitable endings. So there are sentences given here and you have to choose suitable endings. And let's see what they are. Okay, to help all of you, I'll discuss the first one. Notes are exchanged blank. I would like to say it's not only among friends children. Maybe if you have to drop a note to your class teacher, that's fine. But we have a habit of writing a note between friends. So here you have to complete this blank. To complete this blank, you need an answer. Maybe most of you know the answer, but for those who do not know, I would like to give you some answers to choose the correct one. Look at this box at the bottom and you have some answers there. Yes, the first one is notes are exchanged between friends. So this is your time my students. Try to choose the correct answer. Remember what I said earlier and what we discussed and then try to complete this activity. And I would like to help you with the answers. Apologize. A reason for that between friends. Thanks for inviting us. At times we have to refuse. So apologize means you say sorry and then a reason for that you say why you cannot attend, why cannot you accept the invitation or why you cannot join. And then the other one is thanks for inviting us and at times we have to refuse. If you cannot go or when you cannot accept you have to refuse. So now let's check the answers. The answers are given in red, my dear students, and hope all are correct, right? So let's see one by one. Sometimes we accept invitation, but at times we have to refuse. When you have a reason that you cannot go, you have to refuse it. And even when refusing an invitation, we should thank for inviting us. I always said saying thank you is an act of courtesy. It's a polite way of expressing yourself and you should say thank you for inviting. And the next one, if you are unable to accept, you should apologize. You should say sorry. And then the last one, when refusing an invitation, you should give a reason. So just don't say I cannot come, I'm sorry. So that will not be a good way of expressing yourself. So you say, a reason. Maybe uh, like in the telephone conversation, he has an interview for his A-level admissions. So maybe uh, that you are attending to another party or maybe someone is sick at your home. So anyway, you should give a valid reason. All right, my dear students. Okay, revise once again all what I have said. It will be very easy for us to do the further activities well in all the exercises. Okay, right. Let's move on to the next slide now. Now remember, before we start the exercise, always remember to say thank you and then apologize and then give a reason. These are the three important things that you should keep in mind when you write a reply and when you refuse an invitation. This is very important, my students. Once again, say thank you and then you apologize and then you give a reason. Okay, right. Moving on to the next exercise. Now let's see what we are going to do here. This is the reply written by Dimithi for the message she received from Kavini. Right? 
a reply from Dimithi. She has received a message from Kavini, but she has missed an important piece of information. Can you find it and rewrite the note? So to find out the important thing what she has missed, you should think the three keywords that I told you, you should keep in mind when replying an invitation or writing a note and when you refuse it. Okay, here we go. It's on the 27th of May 2020, Kavini. Thanks for the message, but I'm really sorry. I can't come today. I'll come tomorrow. Please don't misunderstand me. Diniti. All right. So maybe you have found out what really Diniti has missed here. There is one important point. I know it. And I know many of you know. And I can see some of you saying yes. Let's see. She thanks for the invitation. And then she refuses it. She thanks it saying thanks for the message. Okay. And then, but I'm really sorry. She refuses it. And then she says, I can't come today. I'll come tomorrow. Don't you think that something is missing there? Yes. She has forgotten to say why she cannot come. Why she cannot join it. So I always told, when you apologize, you have to give a reason. So now let's see the corrected note. Okay. Here you go. Kavini, thanks for the message. But I'm really sorry. I can't come today. I promised my grandma to visit her and spend the day with her. I can't disappoint her. I'll come tomorrow. Please don't misunderstand me, Diniti. You see here, she gives the reason why she cannot come with her friend. She says that she has to visit her grandma. She has promised her grandma. So it's very important. And that is her reason that she cannot join. Okay. So now, moving on to the next slide. You see a pretty girl here. Let's see who she is. Let's read. Imagine you are Tiran. You received this note from Situmi. Read it and write a reply refusing the invitation. So this girl is Situmi. She has given you an invitation and you have to refuse the invitation. So you have to give reasons and you should say why you cannot come. And this is your time, my dear students. You can quickly write down a note. Okay. And let's see before writing. Here you have this. It's Tiran. We are going for an outing tomorrow. Please join us. Bring your guitar as well, Situmi. Situmi is going for an outing. And she wants Tiran. She wants you to join. Every one of you are Tiran. Imagine. And uh, Situmi is inviting you to go for an outing. Uh, she wants you to bring your guitar when you come. So what are you going to write there? Of course, you're going to refuse the invitation because our lesson focus is today on refusing an invitation. And you write a note for that reason. Okay? I hope that all of you have started writing the answers and I see some thinking, what's the reason that you're going to give? Yes. And what are you going to do with the guitar if you're not going? Think about that. Okay. Let's see. Tiran on screen. What he writes. Before writing. For those who have not completed yet, you can just see the reason. And then you are leaving today to attend uncle's wedding. Say that you will leave the guitar with Sam and ask them to collect it. So these are some reasons that you give. 
for those who really found it difficult to write it quickly, these guidelines really help you students. That's why we always prepare a guideline for you to make your note perfect. Okay? And then about the guitar. You are leaving the guitar with Sam and you want your friend to collect it. Okay? Now let's read the finalized note. Alright students? Now let's read the note that Tiran has written on screen. Hi Situmi, thanks for the invitation. But I am really sorry I can't join you. First, Tiran thanked for the invitation and then he apologizes and then he says he can't join. And then, you see, we are leaving today to attend our uncle's wedding. There he gives a reason why he cannot join. And anyway, I will leave the guitar with Sam. Please collect it. And also, you know, Situmi has asked for the guitar. So, Tiran says that he will leave it with Sam and they can collect it. My dear student, so you see, all the key factors are included in this reply. First, Tiran has thanked and then he has apologized and then he has given the reason why he cannot come and also he did not forget about the guitar that he has to give Situ Me. Okay? So, this is the way to write a note very brief, that means very short and include all the important facts that you have to include. Alright, so let's practice more exercises on writing a reply for an invitation at the same time refusing it. Okay students, now you see a beautiful girl on screen and when you are going to write a reply for this note which you have received, you have to include the following. There are some guidelines that you have to keep in mind. Thank for the invitation and apologize for refusing it. Give a reason for refusing the invitation. Add a suitable wish. Alright, so you know how to thank and then you know how to apologize and also you know why you are apologizing you have to give a reason for that you have to apologize because you are refusing it and also you have to add a suitable wish maybe the last point is a uh, new for you because we haven't discussed adding a suitable wish but let's see how are we going to do that in this activity Read this first, my dear students. Read it very carefully and also go through the guidelines and then think what you are going to do. So, let's read sentence by sentence. Please join me, children. They do know our uncle is taking us on a boat ride tomorrow. Why don't you join us? We'll pick you on our way. Please be at the bus stop by 9.30 in the morning, Varsha. So, Varsha has invited Tedunu to go on a boat ride with her uncle. She has given the place where Tedunu has to meet and the time as well. And now we have to think what is Tedunu going to do. Of course, Tedunu is going to refuse the invitation that is given in your instruction. And then you have to include these points in your reply. Okay? To help you with more information, I would like to show you the next slide. Alright, my dear students, why do you think that I showed you this slide? Can you remember there are some instructions given to you? to follow when you write the reply and when you refuse and also I said look at the screen add a suitable wish 
So, in our previous activities, you learned how to thank, how to apologize for refusing, and then you gave your reason. But here, we learn about adding a suitable wish. So, to help you, I had included this slide for you to complete your reply. So, using all these instructions, I know that you have already completed your note refusing the invitation. Okay? Now, let us see how the invitation is refused. All right, students. This is the reply that Dedunu has written to Varsha. As you remember, the thank you first and she says, thanks for asking me to join the trip and then, but I am sorry to say that I can't come. Then she refuses and she also apologizes for refusing it. She says, sorry that I can't come. And then, you know, it is the reason that you have to give next. I am not well. All right, she says. She gives a reason. She says that she is not well. I have got a terrible toothache. Okay, unbearable toothache. And then anyway, she wishes her friend have fun and enjoy your trip. What a nice reply is this. And you see, my dear students, all information is included in this reply. She has refused. She has given her reasons and also she has wished her friend. Okay, the last activity for the day. I hope that you like to take the challenge. Let us go to the next slide. It is your time, my dear students. Read the instructions carefully. Think what you are going to do and think what is necessary and unnecessary. Maybe if you cannot write the whole thing, you can write the unnecessary information in this reply. So, read the instruction, read the following note and try to limit it to 35 to 40 words by deleting the unnecessary information. So, now my dear students, unnecessary information, you know the key points. You know that the thank you should be there, then they apologize for refusing and the reason, maybe if you have to wish, you can wish and rather than that, if there are something additional, you can delete them. If not, it becomes a letter. At the beginning, I told you a note is always brief, but it includes all the points that is needed. It is very short, it is not lengthy. When it becomes lengthy, then it becomes a letter. Okay? Have you taken down the unnecessary information? And let us see what are we going to delete in this note. All right, students, I hope that you have written the unnecessary information. And then let us check. Now, here you have look at the sentences in red how nice to receive a note from you do you have to include this in your note it's not a letter after all it's a note and it should be very short and then also hope you are getting ready for the exam these days it's it's like an informal letter that you write to a friend so always you start with a thank you and here you have thanks for the invitation. It is fine to start in such a way when you write a reply to a note or to an invitation. And here you have to refuse it and then you say, I know that it will be a lot of fun, but I can't join you. And then you say that you can't join. First you refuse it because in the instructions they have asked you to refuse. And then you are going to give the reason. This Saturday I have to go to the I clinic to check my eyes. The reason is given children and then you also can include a wish and here you have to give a camera so that information is very important and then 
anyway i'll send you my camera by friday evening so my dear students let's recall all we have learned we have learned today to write a reply to refuse an invitation you first thank and then you apologize you give your reasons why you cannot attend or you cannot join and also if there are any instructions given for you to include or guidelines given always remember to include them and include a wish if you like and then you can conclude your note and that's all for today my dear students and i hope that you enjoyed this interesting lesson and i'll meet you very soon with another interesting lesson thank you